It's the VisitMySmokies.com Funcast. Breaking news. Cold enough now that ski slopes at Obergatlinburg will open this weekend. That's the plan. Cubway, Castle Run, Ski School, ready by noon on uh, Saturday. That is the plan. Check first. The snow tubing park, the dining, and also the shops, of course, also available to you. There are supposedly going to be some discounts offered this weekend, too. Check with Obergatlinburg on all that. So it's Certainly a sign of the times. Here's another sign. The snow show of Friday. Some pictures that we received via the VisitMySmokies.com Facebook page. Snow around Wares Valley. Cades Cove. Here's a shot from Pigeon Forge. Oh, that's not enough, you say? Well, there was more in North Carolina. And here's a picture from down in Birmingham, Alabama where it was a little heavier to the south and southeast of us. And at Mount LeConte, last I checked, about five inches heading into the latter part of Friday. Now, it'll still be a little bumpy getting to and from the Smokies on Saturday from down the south and over toward the southeast. This map shows you projected snow depth, and you can see where the snow will be at its highest points. So maybe a few slowdowns coming in from Georgia, North Carolina, and the East Coast is also going to get their taste of winter, too. And check first this weekend before you try to use Highway 441, which had been closed, between Gatlinburg and Cherokee, North Carolina. Also double-check Little River Road, Cades Cove Loop, and Cherokee to Orchard Road. Santa says it's no big deal for him. As a matter of fact, he's ready to hustle. On Sunday, Santa Hustle features a 5K half marathon and kids race, candy, cookies, and Christmas music all along the course at the Wilderness Resort. Santa also shows up in somebody's uh, tie on this uh, episode, too, in case you've maximized the screen. Also going on this weekend through Saturday, the Christmas in the Smokies Bluegrass Festival, making music at the Ramada Inn and Smoky Mountain Convention Center. One easy thing to always find at visitmysmokies.com is great food, and this is a story of a writer for Food and Wine magazine who was asked to review the award-winning food at Dollywood. But instead of doing it over a couple of different days, he decided he was going to do it all in one day. Not all heroes wear capes. Did this guy do it? Read the story in the Things to Know section of VisitMySmokies.com. Well, how about dinner and a show? We've got that, too. A story about the Christmas show at Dolly Parton's Smoky Mountain Adventures. And what a show with ice skaters, acrobats, and of course, a hearty holiday feast. Well, feast your eyes on this. Snow will diminish on Saturday, so maybe a few snow showers around in the morning. But we've had the worst of that, and the temperatures bounce back a little. But it's still only going to be around 40 for the weekend. About 50 on Monday. we got some great-looking days, although it will certainly be frosty in the morning. And then another chance of maybe a little bit of rain and snow on Tuesday. I don't think that's going to be a huge inconvenience. And we start to moderate again back to the 40s by the end of the forecast period. Follow us online, Facebook, and Twitter for all the very latest. And we'll see you again soon with VisitMySmokies.com.